Hello everyone and welcome to Wikik channel and uh, recently I posted a video of the review of my new laptop which is the HP Y503 TX model which is really good laptop and so far it has been uh, really impressive in terms of its performance absolutely no hiccups up till now so uh, what happened is uh, some of the viewers asked me to basically give the links to the drivers installation because it doesn't ship with the uh, the softwares and the drivers installed inside the computer because it doesn't have windows shipped right from out of the box so what you want to do is once you install the windows 10 or say whatever operating system you're comfortable with i think windows 10 uh, will fit this properly with the uh, without any hiccups or without any uh, nonsense things happening uh, related to drivers or anything uh, such kind so uh, what i have done is i have installed the windows 10 pro and I absolutely did not have any drivers with me. So what I figured out was the way uh, the HP provides, uh, like I said in my previous review video, the way HP provides you to install the softwares and uh, drivers is really, really nice. And what they have done is uh, they have made it a process which is really easy and uh, it itself does everything. So you don't have to manually uh, download and install uh, literally everything. I don't know if uh, other brands have got that facility so let's uh, straight away jump into the video uh, here what you are seeing on the screen is the HP support assistant uh, this is actually an uh, application desktop applications you need to download from the HP website I will just show you that so clicking on the Internet Explorer uh, I'm just going to use this uh, Microsoft Edge for the video purpose so we are into the Explorer and uh, what I'll do is go to the HP support, click on it. Okay, so Bing is searching here, no problem. So we are into this uh, first, very first page. It will automatically detect your country and the language. So click on the HP technical support, it will take you to the support page. And once we are into the page, it will uh, actually ask you what you want from uh, HP's support. We want to download softwares and drivers. So I'm going to click that. Then what you can see is identify now option and you can actually manually enter yourself. So I know the model number and hence I will manually enter it myself. EA5503TX. You don't have to prefix HP and it will directly take you to your laptop model number and here we are this is really important page and this is where everything gets uh, really good uh, in terms of installing the softwares and drivers what you can find is uh, basically every driver and software uh, that is categorized so you don't have to uh, use the messed up things so everything is specified clearly what I'm going to do is quickly go to the software solutions here and uh, this is really really important in the software solutions tab you have the HP support assistant all you need to do is just download this HP support assistant so once you download the HP support assistant and uh, just launch the application as usual from the desktop and you're, you'll be greeted with this it will actually scan for the devices uh, uh, what HP products you are using and literally gives you this because we have only laptop and it will identify it for you once you click on this so boom everything will be here what you want to do is to go to the up updates tab and uh, uh, if, if everything is not installed and if it is fresh it will show you all these things here just like these drivers you you just have to download everything it, it will do it on its own and it will probably take 50 to 20 minutes depending on your internet connection speed so that's the easiest way I figured out how uh, you can actually do and moreover uh, as you can see here the warranty status will be uploaded and updated as well for you so you don't have to sub register it separately uh, with the HP at all so this is the easiest way I found and after you have installed everything and uh, you are okay with it you'll be having since this uh, HP laptop has uh, two uh, different uh, switchable graphics card like the Intel's own 520 HD and this one the AMD R5 so you can click on right click on the uh, desktop and you can uh, go to the AMD Radeon settings let it open so when you are here you click on the preference button then moving to the Radeon additional settings here you can find the uh, settings for uh, your desktop basically you can switch what kind of and you can actually decide let it decide 
what graphics you want to use for uh, the various applications so uh, radian additional settings here you can find all the different settings switchable graphic settings uh, and you can assign every application what graphics uh, it wants to use I think this is really helpful and even AMD has uh, made it really nice so kudos uh, to everybody here I think this uh, really syncs with everything and it, it was the most easiest process I have ever seen because I had to otherwise I had to download each and every driver I wanted and uh, basically sit and install everything manually so instead of doing that HP will do it for you everything you don't have to uh, fuss around it at all so I hope this video was really helpful for you if yes please hit that like button if you have any questions uh, don't, uh, don't hesitate to leave in the comment sections down below if you want me to do anything videos so let me know in the comments as well see you in next video till then keep rocking please share this video so that it helps uh, everybody else and if you are buying this laptop please use the link in the description below it helps me produce content I think that's it for this video then see you in another video thanks for watching bye bye